it's Lisa from Katuri. I'm here in Shibuya, Japan, where I'm going to be catching up with the president of Curiosity Studios, Wanal Nicholas, to talk about how he's changed the retail landscape, not only in Japan, but internationally. So let's go and find out what his secret is. And I thought architecture is fantastic, but it doesn't move. And the movie is fantastic, but it doesn't last. So I was thinking how I can combine those two together and create something which has the quality of both. Everywhere they ask me the same question. So what kind of designer you are? Are you product designer, space designer, graphic designer? And I thought the question was so stupid. You know, I, I was confused. Really, I was confused. And when I came in Japan, never someone asked me what kind of design, who a designer you are. And the worst thing in Japan, the best thing I don't know, is people never ask me something I know how to do. You know, my first project when I came here was to design a Butsudan. A Butsudan is a Japanese Buddhist temple. And they don't even ask me if I want to do it. They said, have you done it? Okay, see you in two weeks. No explanation, no concept, nothing. Just, what do you think about it? What's your opinion about it? That's fantastic. You know, and that's how it should be. The, the idea of trend, Okay, if you, if you tell me, okay, we're going to do open a boutique or design a perfume or design a product which is going to be trendy six months, what, what does it mean? We are already too late because, you know, it takes six months, one year, two years to develop a concept, okay? So you, you cannot base your design on what information you have around you. It's, it's too late. You know what I mean? The, the dynamic of creation and the, the general dynamic of trends is a totally different path. So you have to define your own code and your own vision. When you go beyond, beyond what people expect, nobody can say no. You know, there's a line. If you make something a little interesting, people will start to make comments about it. If you make something really interesting, they say, hmm, why not? But if you make something really insane, everybody stop and say, um, yeah, let's have a look. You know what I mean? Because you don't have, you never seen it before, so you cannot judge. So you need someone crazy enough in the company, your client, to say, yes, we have to do this. Everything has to be um, not only photogenic, but mediagenic. You know, when I create a space, which is a real experience when people enter the space, the same space has to work as a digital media. And this, these two work connected, it's very fascinating. So when I design a space, actually you have to design some graphical code, you know. Wherever you take a picture, you know immediately which brand it is. You know when you speak about Asia, Japanese, like everybody's opinion. And actually, I realized it was the opposite. You know, each individual designer, the Japanese, have very precise opinion about what they want to do and their creation. So I was very curious to come to Japan and realize, and myself, you know, to find this, to define my opinion about design, you know, to make it really, really uh, precise. And uh, discover a new a new world.